Hello, my friends. I hope you are having a wonderful day. As I'm sure you know, Miss Valentino is not here today. I am so sorry I can't be here with you. Um, unfortunately, one of my little ones is sick, so I have to be mom today and stay home and take care of them and get them all better. So uh, I have pre-recorded my presentation. That way we can continue on as normal and you guys can get started on our next project, which is printmaking. All right. I'm really excited about this project. Brand new, you guys are the first ones to do it. Okay. So here are our learning targets. So number one, I can create new and existing Zentangles, which is also known as patterns. And I can create a pot with different types of Zentangles. I will know or I know I am successful when I can create new and existing uh, Zentangles and patterns by completing my Zentangle worksheet. And I have created a pot with four or more different Zentangles. And we'll get into what all that means in just a moment. So just hang tight. Okay, so here's a quick little snapshot of what we are going to be doing for our project. We're going to be doing printmaking and pattern work, um, but today we are going to focus on just the pot first and we'll get into the flowers next class. Okay, so we're going to be making the flowers through printmaking. So printmaking is an artistic process in which an image is pressed, stamped, or printed onto another surface. It could be paper, it could be fabric. Um, the image is, or I'm sorry, the image being printed is often called a plate. It can be made from different materials. Uh, it could be wood, linoleum, stone, metal, or other types of objects. The plate is used to create an impression onto the paper. It's just a fancy way to say it's a stamp. So the impression is then called the print. So on that picture there, you can see the person is printing their plate and it's creating a stamp of the artwork on the paper. Um, the wonderful thing about printmaking is because you are creating a stamp, you can make as many prints as you want again and again and again and again. Um, so it's a really cool medium if you want multiple copies of an artwork versus, you know, when you're doing a drawing or painting, you know, unless you take it to a copy machine, um, you're only going to have one original work of art. With printmaking, you can have multiple copies of an original. Okay, so let's get into printmaking. Hopefully, this will play. Let's see.
Okay, so here are just some of the different printmaking tools that artists use. We will not be using all of these tools. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction. So typical printmaking tools involve a brayer or a roller, which we will be using, printmaking ink, which we will be using, um, a bench hook that's used for both cutting and for printing, um, a gouge, which is kind of like a fancy knife. We will not be using those um, because we're going to be using styrofoam, so we don't need a fancy knife. Um, a baron, which is used to press and allow pressure to transfer the image. Um, and then our printing plate, which is going to be styrofoam. Okay, so like I said before, here is what our projects are going to look like. We're going to be creating these really cool, bright background um, vases with different um, flowers and a very bright and very bold um, vase with the Zen tangles beneath. So today we are going to focus on our uh, vases. All right, so this is what we are going to take care of today. We are going to start with our uh, Zentangled pots. Okay, so before we can start making our Zentangled pots, we need to figure out what a Zentangle is. So a Zentangle is just a really fun way of saying a pattern. So we're just going to practice creating and recreating different patterns. So inside of your sketchbook, we're going to first practice how to make these different patterns. Here's Miss Salatino's completed one. So you, at the top, you're going to try your best to recreate the different patterns already set up for you. At the bottom, you will notice that the boxes are empty. You are going to create your own Zentangles and your own patterns. Um, you get to choose your own color. So I should have four different markers for you to choose from. It should be like a raspberry red, a green, a blue, and I think the other one is like a fancy purple called like primrose. So you're going to choose one of those markers and you're going to create your Zentangles. Um, when you do the patterns below, if you want to borrow some of the Saltinos, that's totally fine. Or you can come up with your own. You can use it uh, by doing different shapes or letters or numbers or whatever, like little rainbows, smiley faces. There's all different types of patterns that you can create. Once you are done with your Zentangle practice, then we are going to begin on our vase. Up front, you will find a very big piece of paper. We are going to first start by drawing out your vase with a pencil. That way, if you make a mistake, you can erase it. All right, so start by drawing like a big circle with a little top to it. You want to do it nice and big. It should take about, it should take up about half of the paper. You want to leave the other half of the paper there for the flowers. Once you have that done, then you can start your Zentangles, and we're going to outline our Zentangles with the black Crayola markers. I know that normally I have you do the Sharpies, but today we're going to do the Crayola markers just because I'm pretty sure those work really well. The Sharpies have been kind of um, running out lately, so we want to avoid that fiasco. At the bottom of your paper, I want you to put your name. Put it nice and small. Enough so I can read it, but it shouldn't be huge. Take a look at how Miss Saltino wrote hers at the bottom. This is as far as we are going to get for today. We're not going to move on with the flowers until next time. So if you finish early, you can draw in your sketchbook or I restocked the free draw paper and you can take one or two free draw papers. Okay, we are drawing, not making sculptures out of things, not creating paper airplanes. We're drawing. It's free draw paper, all right? Please be on your best behavior. Make Miss Salatino proud and show how awesome Harris Hill students are, okay? If you have any questions, hopefully my wonderful sub will be able to answer them for you, okay? Get to it, my friends. Have fun, and I will see you next week.